web of life in that they uh, they pollinate all the uh, flowers and uh, fruit trees that uh, provide us with food and commercially that's uh, the number one reason why uh, people get into beekeeping is to um, sell their pollination services to orchards uh, around the country whether it's almond orchards in California or apple cherry orchards in Michigan and uh, I got into uh, raising bees up here for the same reason. The uh, local uh, bee populations uh, died out because of some disease and we didn't have anything to pollinate our fruit trees or vegetable gardens so uh, I got into beekeeping about 10 years ago. Uh, I have some extra equipment if anybody would like to uh, get closer to the, uh, the bees. Uh, you can wear protective gear. It's, uh, anybody want to do that? I will. Okay. Bee veil here and that's the front and the back, so you want to put uh, like one arm through there, one arm through this other loop, and then just pop it up to your head. And this one isn't quite as fancy, but uh, same thing kind of goes over your head. Why is there a pole on there? Peace. Won't get There's stung. a lot of bees in the air right now. Oh my god. So they're uh, they're busy bringing their uh, their uh, nectar and pollen back to the hive, and occasionally you'll see a bee come in that has uh, sacks of pollen on its legs. They're going to either be yellow or orange. You can learn a lot about the health of the hive just by looking at the flow of bees coming in and uh, and out of the hive, how many at a time. Uh, there's a hive cover. You want to keep the hive dry. These uh, boxes here are the ones that the bees are going to put honey away in uh, for harvest. This little layer here is the queen excluder and that keeps the queen from getting up into the honey uh, chambers and laying eggs so you don't get larval bees in the honey. And these two lower chambers are the brood chambers where the uh, hive raises its new, uh, new bees. It takes 21 days for uh, a bee to develop from an egg and the uh, queen in the summertime is laying probably uh, close to a thousand eggs a day. I'm going to take the outer cover off. So they don't get mad at us for smoking? No, they don't. What the smoke does is uh, simulate a forest fire and so the bees will gorge themselves with honey in preparation for leaving the hive. That's the, uh, the instinct that they have. And when they are gorged with honey, they're more docile. And this is the inner cover coming off now. And we don't have many bees in the, uh, the honey supers because they're just starting their honey production. The key is just moving slowly and uh, and trying to be as gentle as you can be as you move things around. And in doing that, the uh, bees don't get too excited. I'm going to give them a little more smoke here as we take this frame out. I'm hoping there'll be some honey in it, so you can see that. Is there honey in there right now? There should be. Oh. You should see the uh, a little glistening uh, of honey there. I can bring this over closer to the rest of you too, so you can. Okay, we're good. bring See the glistening honey there. Yeah. They get mad at you. <laughs> Yes, you guys feel safe. They wouldn't like that. So. <laughs> I think you don't. Yeah, I won't drop it though. So they uh, they store the uh, honey in these hexagonal cells, and 
they uh, will also fan air again through the hive to help dry the honey even more. And when it gets to be the proper dryness, they'll, um, they'll go ahead and cap it over with wax. Besides for harvesting, why your bees naturally Honeybees uh, naturally produce honey because they uh, typically live through the winter months and they need a food supply for the winter. Okay. And so that uh, food supply is honey and I leave 50 to, or 70 to 80 pounds of honey on the hive for the winter months. Okay. It's generally down in these bottom two brood, brood chambers and the queen will move through that with the worker bees over the course of the winter and uh, keep new larva growing. The uh, hive, part of the hive where the uh, new bees are growing has to be kept at 93 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure if we'll find them. We'll try. Him? Her. Holy crap. We're getting down into the more populated part of the hive. I know that again, the hive tool is used to uh, break the parts of, break the sections of the hive apart gently where the, they glued it together. What about those? Oh, I'm not going to do that today. Hopefully. Isn't that gonna make them mad? Is that gonna make them mad? It's gonna get them a little bit excited, but uh, in a way yeah, that they're gonna want to eat honey. You can see how relatively docile they are. It's not like a hornet uh, nest. If you were to go in and try to do this in a hornet nest, they would be uh, after you in a swarm. Honeybees are generally pretty gentle, although you have to be careful of the weather. Uh, that's why we couldn't do this this morning. It was raining, and if you open up the hive when it's rainy or cold or real windy, they don't like that because it overcools the hive and the uh, brood could die. Where's the queen? Are you? She's somewhere in these two boxes. I don't know if we'll get lucky enough to find her in one of these she's top. She's really fat. She's not fat, but she's uh, larger than the other worker bees. There are basically three uh, bees in the hive. There's one queen, about, uh, right now anyway, 50,000 workers, and there's probably uh, I would say one to three thousand drone bees, male bees. The drones develop from unfertilized eggs. The uh, worker bees are uh, developed from fertilized eggs. And if they need to make a queen, they take a worker larva and they uh, feed it a special extract from their heads called royal jelly and that larva grows into a queen instead of a worker. What kind of a bee is those, are those real big bumblebees you see that can hardly fly around? Uh, those are probably bumblebees, the black and yellow ones yeah. that are real furry. Yeah, those are bumblebees and that's the only other bee in this area that uh, collects nectar and makes, uh, makes honey. Okay, this is uh, Tapped honey here. Oh yeah, this is sketchy. This is this sketchy. Yeah, I'm trying to pick this one up because it's a drone. Okay, this is a drone bee, and the drone has a large, uh, round abdomen, larger eyes than the worker bee. And it doesn't have a stinger, so if anybody wants to take the drone and hold it. It doesn't have a stinger? No. Nope. Are you positive, man? I'm positive. 
the drone uh, on, get is on, buddy. the sole purpose uh, of the drone is to mate with the queen. Otherwise, it has oh. no function, <laughs> and it can't even Just feed itself. The uh, the other worker bees have to feed the drones. Okay, the ones that are just standing there are fanning their wings. They have their uh, abdomens up in the air a little bit, and they're fanning their wings, and that's to uh, blow air through the hive, to create a, more of an airflow to get rid of the smoke that's in the hive. And they would use that same mechanism for cooling the hive. They go and get water, release that water from their mouths in with the fanning uh, to help cool it off.